Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Ellis, and I'm going to get a few facts down today that people lose sight of. The establishment has been so strong through the government and the medical groups and the dietitians in implicating fat and cholesterol and heart disease. Fat and cholesterol were never proven to be implicated in heart disease. It's just all made up, every bit of it. Now, when is saturated fat bad? Well, it's not bad by itself, but it's bad in the presence of carbohydrates. Because carbohydrates will make saturated fats do things that we don't want done. Now, carbohydrates are readily converted into saturated human fat. Human fat is highly saturated. Yet you never hear anyone saying, don't lose weight, because you're going to pour all the saturated fat out into your blood. And that's going to be bad for the heart. Losing weight is a good thing. We know that. The uh, fat in beef has never been proven to be harmful to our health. So fat is good as long as you don't consume it with much carbohydrate. When you mix it with carbohydrate, that becomes a problem. Now, on the other hand, in the, at the end of the cholesterol era, we now know that glucose coming from the carbohydrate you eat is a deadly stuff, deadly poison. It's implicated in all manner of diseases. I saw something on a diabetes forum today where a low-carb physician had come in recommending the low-carb diet as a primary treatment protocol for type 2 diabetes. They banned this physician. This group banned him because the higher saturated fat diet, low carb, they said would be very, very harmful to diabetics. Totally untrue. These are guys who have their heads stuck in the sand. They aren't staying up on top of the most recent research on the low carb diet, and which shows that it's just it's terrific for diabetes. And it's the best way to go. So this poor guy has been jackknifed, and all he was trying to do was help, because he was type 2 diabetic himself and saved himself with the low-carb diet. So a low-carb diet, by the way, is not that much higher in fat, because you automatically reduce your calories by about 30%, and this cuts out a lot of the fat grams. But even if it didn't, there's no worry. The great Arctic explorer Stephenson lived on a high-fat diet, 70-80% of his calories coming from animal fat. And he was quite healthy. So, fat is good. It's good for your health. You want to eat it. You want to stay away from glucose. Glucose is bad. Glucose is turned into triglycerides in your, in your liver, which are then transported to your fat cells and stored as saturated human fat. And then if you choose to lose weight, that saturated fat will come out, get into the blood, and theoretically cause problems. It won't. And the, your fat turnover is happening very quickly. The, the lifespan of a molecule of fat in your blood is about one and a half minutes. So constantly, we're turning it over. We're shoving it back into the fat cell and bringing it out of the fat cell. That's called reesterification when we turn it into uh, fat inside the cell. So we've got to rewrite the record books here. It's going to be a hard, hard battle. I'm up to the task. I want to lead on this movement because I've been doing this diet longer than most and I have the biochemical background, physiology background, and experience background, and I understand this, and I do do my research. I do read the papers. I do understand them. I stay on top of it so I'm always knowing what's going on. And this is in contrast to these other groups who just don't pay attention. And that's why they're making mistakes. So you're going to have to decide who you're going to listen to. And I think a good choice would be me, because I know this stuff really well, and stay away from these other people that are pushing the establishment agenda. It's time to end that. It's time to move on with a healthier lifestyle, with less degenerative diseases, Anybody that's out there recommending a high-carbohydrate diet is pushing you into degenerative diseases. You must be aware of that, primarily because of your exposure to glucose and insulin. These two items will damage most parts of your body, and I've talked about this in detail before. No need to elaborate here, but 
this is the case, you've got to get away from this stuff, you need to restrict your carbohydrates. This will be good for your weight control, be good for your health, it'll be good for everything. Be good for your mind. It's just the way to go. And that's what that's the message. That's the message I want to carry to not just America, but to the world. Get people to understand this and get people to understand they've been hoodwinked for the last 50, 60 years by all this dietary nonsense that was just largely made up as they went along. You know, there's no relationship at all between cholesterol and coronary heart disease. That has never been shown to be true. It's, it, any relationship at all is very, very weak. And there's so many more things that are involved in it, like the process of, of glycation, which is where the blood sugar binds to the proteins that make up your body. These are the things that are causing the problem. And these are the things that we're going to have to really learn and understand. So I want you to understand these facts. Get these facts down in your mind. And when you get exposed to these other ideas, you'll know you're being conned. You'll know you're being had. Because you've got the facts. I'm giving you all the facts you need to be healthy. So this is a fact day, and I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.